One of the two most important things in fundraising today, which is holding on to great fundraisers and helping them expand their careers so that they don't have to leave and go off somewhere else. In our research, I found that losing a fundraiser to another organization is very expensive. Uh, and it costs a lot of money to train somebody in the first place, and when you lose them, both the costs of rehiring and the, uh, the loss of staff time among colleagues, managers, supervisors, can be quite extraordinary. So in, uh, there were many things that came out of four years of research on this topic of high staff turnover. But for managers, uh, the number one piece of advice I would give is that it's worth your investment. In, uh, to look at ways in which to improve staff retention. And at the top of the list, uh, because we're in a supply-demand problem in fundraising, what I mean by that is there are too few fundraisers for too many available jobs. We have to pay good wages, good uh, the going rate for fundraisers, as opposed to trying to get them to work for 80% or 70% of the available fee. Because even if someone takes a job at a salary that is not competitive, they will soon be looking elsewhere for another one. On the other side of the table, there's uh, good uh, research to show that there's a lot more money out there. Over 50% of donors say, even looking at how much they gave last year, that they could have actually given considerably more money and that they're willing to do so if they can sustain good relationships with fundraisers. And major gifts fundraising, for instance, is completely dependent on establishing and sustaining a great relationship between the gifts officer and the donor. So if uh, turnover is too frequent at that level, donors pull back. They either don't give or they give a lesser gift or they hold back on a period of time before they will offer a major gift again. So holding on to major gifts officers is extraordinarily important as a result too.